okay so now in this video we are going to learn the reverse way that is we have the statements okay we have algebraic expressions and we need to convert them into statements so let us have a look at some examples so what we have to do is we have to change the following statements using expressions into statements in ordinary language so let us say that the first the example given here is that given Salin scores R runs in a cricket match Nalin scores R plus 15 now how do I convert this into an ordinary statement what does it mean so in ordinary language we can say that Nalin simply scored 15 runs more than Salim. now we have to do similar for this five examples here so the first problem says that a notebook costs rupees P and a book costs rupees 3B now what does this mean in a simple language it simply means that a book costs three times that of a notebook so the ordinary statement for this a would be a book costs three times the price of a notebook now let us have a look at B now B says Tony puts Q marbles on the table Q marbles on the table Q marbles on the table and he has eight Q marbles in his box now how do I convert it into something which is without these variables and what does it mean so can I say that Tony's box contains eight times the marbles on the table Tony's box contains eight times the marbles on the table If we look at statement C, our class has n students and the school has 20 n students. So this simply means that the total number of students in the school is 20 times the student in our class. Okay, so the statement C can be written as the total the total students in the school is 20 times the students in our class let us look at statement D it says that Jaggu is Z years old, his uncle is 4 Z years old and his aunt is 4 Z minus 3 years old. Now there are two statements here. So we know the age of Jaggu and we have to say that his uncle is 4, four times Jaggu's age and his aunt is 3 years less than his uncle. So uh, how do we write this into statement? So it is good if we break that into two statements. One statement would be for describing the age of his uncle and the other statement is for describing the age of his aunt. So we can say that Jagu's uncle Jagu's uncle is four times older than Jagu. Four times older than Jagu and Jagu's aunt is three years younger than his uncle because she is three years old so we can say that she's simply three years younger so we can say that Jagu's aunt is three years younger 
than his uncle. Now let us look at statement E which says that in an arrangement of dots there are R rows and each row contains 5 dots. Okay, so there are R rows and every row has 5 dots. So can we say that the total number of dots is how much? 5 times the rows? Yes, so that is what our statement in ordinary language would be. The total number of dots, the total number of dots is 5 times the number of rows. So this is how we can convert the algebraic expressions into normal statements. So see you in the next session.